This is a video by Richpin. Today we're checking a GM map sensor. Now when a map sensor goes bad it can lead to um, excess fuel consumption and uh, the, it can lead to engine surging also. This one happens to be on a Saturn. Most of them are located in the intake manifold. You can see it right here. We're going to start by removing the sensor from the manifold. This one is held on by two seven millimeter head bolts. Now once you remove the bolts, the sensor will just come right out. There it is. Okay, now that we have the sensor out of the intake manifold, we want to find the green wire to the sensor and we want to back probe it. That is the wire back to the computer. I'm using a paper clip here to back probe. Now, this little gasket right here, take this off the sensor. because you're going to be using a vacuum pump on that connection right there. All right, now we'll take a multimeter, set it on DC voltage, take the negative lead, put that to a ground, and then we'll take the red positive lead and we'll put that right there on our paper clip. Now we'll take our vacuum pump. I've got one of these small handheld pumps. Looks like that. And we'll hook the hose this piece of the sensor right here. Now we'll turn the ignition key to the run position. We're not going to start it, we're just going to turn it to the run position. And we should see something close to 5 volts. And that's correct. Now we're going to take our pump and we're going to pump the pressure and for every five pounds of pressure we should see something like a one voltage drop on our meter. There's five inches of vacuum and we're getting four volts on our meter. That looks good. Now we'll go to ten inches. We're at three. That looks good. Now we'll go up to 15. That looks good. Now we'll go up to 20. One point one four volts. We're roughly around twenty inches of vacuum. Now we'll let that set there a while. See if we get any bleed down from the map. It 
seems to be holding steady. Now, if once you hook that up initially, if you got no voltage on the reading, well then you need to check the live wire to the map sensor or the ground wire. That's the other two wires, live and ground, if you don't have any initial voltage when you hook it up. But this one seems to be working properly. I'm getting a little bleed down on my vac gauge here, but the map sensor looks good. And that's all there is to checking your map sensor.